Alright guys, in today's video I wanted to take a little bit of time here to talk about the latest PlayStation 4 exclusive that has been released by Sony, that being Dreams from Media Molecule. Now, obviously this is a game that is being talked about somewhat right now, uh, not as much as you would think, but one thing we can look at here is that apparently it's doing extremely well critically. Now, we don't know how well it's going to do commercially, how well it's going to sell, but it is currently sitting at a 91 on Metacritic, and I believe that score is now locked in with 22 total reviews, and it has a user score of 9 uh, with about 500 ratings so far. And so when you look at this, you look at the uh, reviews, 22 positive ratings, 0 mixed ratings, and 0 negative ratings. And Something that I think we can all agree on here is that even if a game like Dreams isn't really your cup of tea, it's something that should at least be recognized as a very high quality game. And so I, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of you kind of telling me I should maybe check out this game or consider it or play it. And I have to be honest with you, at first I wasn't really considering playing this game. It wasn't really something that appealed to me too much, but after looking into a lot of the user created content out there I think I am going to in the coming weeks probably pick it up and check it out um, I don't see myself trying to create anything but the fact that I can play pretty much anything that anybody else creates is pretty awesome and I'm sure you noticed in the thumbnail for this video there was like a picture of what looked to be Spongebob Squarepants it's because I came across a channel I think it goes by Project Genesis I don't necessarily know if this is the individual who actually created this Spongebob thing going on here in Dreams but they did showcase it and I'll probably have that video playing in the background and it's actually really cool and it just goes to show that this is a very unique and interesting game and it's something that I think more people maybe should be paying attention to because Sony's not really marketing it a whole bunch and it's kind of understandable why they're not this really isn't a game for everybody but the fact that there's so much possibility pretty much endless possibility and there's just so much that people can do in the coming years with a game like dreams and what they're gonna be able to achieve I mean I've seen uh, people recreating PT I've seen people recreating Ghost of Tsushima and there's probably a lot of other stuff out there too that I have yet to see see that right there is what makes me kind of excited to explore dreams and actually check it out but a few other things that um we probably should pay attention to here it says here, and I just came across this article, it's from Push Square, it's pretty interesting, it says that Dreams is one of the best reviewed PS4 games of all time. It was teased alongside the announcement of the PS4 itself, but Media Molecules finally delivered on its ambitious vision for Dreams, and it's a masterpiece as far as we're concerned. But don't listen to us, just uh, look at the current Metacritic score, which at the time of them writing this, it was at a 92, and it did drop down to a 91, but that's still extremely high. And... You know, there's just some uh, websites out here such as Push Square and others trying to really let people know that Dreams is a very high quality game and Media Molecule really did something special here. And I've seen a lot of you guys actually in the comments as well letting me know that this is something that people should be paying attention to. Not everybody, but if you have any interest at all in dreams you should be paying attention to it and uh, I think something that kind of um, you know is interesting here is I put out a poll asking my audience if they're gonna buy dreams or not and it only got about 6,000 votes 6,300 votes actually which is kind of on the low end for a lot of the polls I do but it says here that 37 percent said yes and 63 percent said no so that's kind of unfortunate it's looking like out of the 6,300 people here who voted only about 37 percent of them are going to actually pick the game up but a lot of people in the comments for that poll are really advocating for this game and saying that there's really something awesome here and to be honest I can understand why there's a lot of people either on the fence with this game or unsure I mean it's it's just not a game for everybody but there's no denying that first of all it's a high quality game and it's a great way for Sony to kick off the year I believe you know looking at the review scores it's gotten so far sitting at a 91 but it's an extremely unique game. It's not something you really 
see too often, honestly, in today's uh, gaming landscape. And I think something that Media Molecule recently did was they talked about the future of this game, and something they kind of hinted at was bringing it over the PlayStation 5. And I, I've even seen Push Square, I think they wrote up an article saying that they believe that Dream should come pre-installed on every pre PS5, which would be actually really interesting and maybe a really smart thing for Sony to do to really give this game a, you know, a long life and uh, help grow it. In a, in a significant way, but um, I think that that's obviously something that they're going to do. They're going to bring it to PS5. We've heard rumors that maybe they're going to be bringing it to PC. That wouldn't surprise me either. It's definitely one of those games that, you know, even though it is from a Sony first party, it would make a lot of sense to try to get this game considering the creative possibility it offers uh, in the hands of as many gamers as possible. But yeah, there you go. I had to take a little bit of time here to talk about Dreams. I know a lot of you, or at least some of you, have been kind of upset that I've been kind of ignoring this game. Again, it's not exactly my cup of tea, but I am considering picking it up and dabbling in it and exploring some of the things that people have created because it is just insane, some of the stuff that people have created within dreams but that does it for the video guys let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below are you surprised to see just how well uh, dreams has ended up reviewing and is it a game you're interested in let me know why if you're not interested in it let me know why you're not and let me know what the most interesting creation you've seen so far inside of dreams is i will be interested to see what you guys have to say leave the video a like if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that but until next time guys take care